A boat is floating on swiftly moving river. You drop a stone from rest from a 55 meter high bridge and lands on the boat as it passes under the bridge. If the boat moves with a constant speed of 5.0 meters per second, what is the horizontal distance between the boat and the bridge when you release the stone? So for us to better analyze the problem, let's have an illustration of uh, this scenario. Let it be our given. Let be our illustration shown as the given for this problem. So let's say this is the bridge, the river. So this is uh, 55 meters. Let's say this is the height of the bridge. Why? 55 meters. And then uh, we have the boat. Let's say this is, here is the boat moving in to this direction. Now seeing the boat in this point, you drop a stone and the stone catches the stone below. Now the speed of the boat, it has a constant speed. Let's say V, V, 5.0 meters per second. Okay, I think that's all the given. But we are required, we are required to get the distance, the horizontal distance between the boat and the bridge when you release the stone. So when you release the stone at this point, the boat is still in this position. So we are being asked to find the distance during that uh, instant. So that distance is from here up to the boat's position just before you release the stone. Let's say this is x. So we are asked to find this distance x. Okay, this is the distance. Distance of the boat when the stone is released. Now if we will analyze the problem, we have now all this given, the velocity of the boat, the height of uh, the bridge. Now the boat is moving into this direction. And the stone falls downward, of course, in free fall. So we have to analyze now the motion of the boat and the motion of the stone. Now we are us to find the distance, the horizontal distance. For us to solve this, let's think what is the common variable between these two objects, the boat and the stone. So if we are to analyze, analyze this problem, uh, the time that the stone travels from this point going down when the boat when the stone touches the boat is also equal to the time the time for this stone to drop is also the time of travel of the boat going in this direction going under the bridge so that time is equal from the uh, given analysis let's say the time of the stone is equal to the time of tra travel by the boat but the boat is in constant velocity so the boat is in constant motion but the stone is in free fall therefore for the boat we will just be using our velocity equation for constant velocity but for the stone, we will be using one of the kinematic equations, okay, to uh, get the time. So we have now this uh, expression that the time of the stone is equal to the time of the boat. For the time of the boat, it will be very easy because since it is in constant velocity, the velocity of uh, the boat, the velocity of the boat, is equal to x the distance traveled by the boat over the time of the boat which is equal to t okay which is this t the time of the uh, boat's travel is also equal to the time of travel by the stone which is x over t so 
t um, the time of the boat therefore is equal to x over velocity of the boat but how about for the time of the stone so it is in threefold we are only given the height the height of the bridge which is equal to 55 meters so what is the equation that we can use okay we can use the kinematic equation that y is equal to vit plus one half gt squared but since the stone uh, initial the stone's initial velocity is is zero because you drop it from rest so this vi will be zero so this term will just be equal to zero now you are left with y is equal to one half gt squared let us get the equation for t using this equation so we'll have uh, 2y is equal to gt squared therefore t squared is equal to 2y all over g therefore t squaring both sides of the equation we'll have t is equal to the square root of 2y all over g so we have now the time of the stone but according to our analysis this time is also equal to the time of the boat so let's now have this analysis the ts is equal to t b the time of the stone is the square root of 2y all over g equal to x over vb so we are asked to find this variable x so by just uh, uh, simplifying the equation x will just be the product of vb and the square root of 2y all over g now velocity of the boat according to our given is 5.0 meters per second this is 5.0 meters per second times the square root of 2 times negative 55 we use negative 55 meters because we will measure it from the top going down so the displacement of the stone will be from this point going down to the boat so that is negative 55 meters all over gravity equal to negative 9.8 meters per second squared okay so by just substituting all our values in our calculator we'll just have five times the square root of two times negative 50 over negative 9.8 our answer would be 16.75 meters 16.75 meters so this horizontal distance x in our problem this is equal to Sixteen point seventy five 
meters. So that is our answer for this problem.